Carter here from Big Frog 104. We are backstage after the Jamesville, Jamesville Balloon Festival, if I can talk, with Adam Hambrick. How's What's it going, up? Adam? Um, it's good, it's good. <laughs> My voice is a little tired. We had a really long set tonight. You did, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was great getting to see you do a longer set. I was just telling you, I, I saw you in Spokane, Washington, maybe two months ago, yeah. and it was a longer set today, so I really like that. Yeah, it was yeah. It was fun. It was a lot of fun today. Awesome. So, like I said, we're in Jamesville. We did the Balloon Fest. Did you get the chance to go hang out and check out all of what was going on today? Yeah, we kind of walked through the Midway a little bit. We got to got to see a little bit of it. There's a lot of, like, just games and carnival <laughs> stuff kind of going on. I, I like that vibe. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think the balloons went up today because it was a little windy, but have you ever ridden in a hot air balloon? I have not ridden a hot air balloon. But uh, in the town where I grew up in, the Mississippi, Corinth, Mississippi, they used to have a big balloon race. And uh, in a couple years, my, my family and I went and watched them like, air up the balloons and take off. And it, it, was, it was amazing. That's was, really cool. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really cool thing watching a hot air balloon go up and then just fly away, disappear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of hot air balloon racing. That's really cool. It, it's a thing, <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, you saw it, so I'll, I'll take your word for it. What if I just made up that whole story? <laughs> you know, I don't think I would ever know unless I Googled it. So, no, we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, when I was 16, my only experience with hot air balloons really before today was the town I grew up in. We, uh, like, my first job was at a hot air balloon company. I was, like, oh, an wow. office assistant. So, All right. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, what was your first job? Uh, my first job, I worked, I worked for a radio station. Wild 100.7, the Crossroads number one hit music station. Shout out! Uh, 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 it's actually not there anymore, but they, but I, I did production for them. I like I learned how to record, and that's kind of like where I fell in love with music production and all that yeah. all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, I did work for a radio station. It was awesome. Nice. What a cool first job. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I want to introduce you to our listeners who uh, may have not heard your name before. This is Adam Hambrick. Um, you got some really cool jams. You're a good singer-songwriter, and uh, your singles you got rocking all night long. Yep. All you, all night, all yep. summer. I messed yep. that up earlier. So this is my redemption it's a, moment. It's okay. It's a mouthful. <laughs> um, so you got those, and then um, ones that they probably have heard on Big Frog 104. Um, Dan and Chase, how not to? Yeah. You were a, a songwriter behind that. Yeah. A songwriter behind Justin Moore, somebody else will. Yeah. So um, with Justin Moore, when we were talking in Spokane a couple months ago, you were telling me the story about how Justin kind of had a big part in bringing you to Nashville, if you yeah. want to tell that story. Yeah, Justin, I was I was just making music on the side in Arkansas. I'd made a record um, with some friends from church, a record that I really loved, and I was kind of doing some local morning uh, TV shows to, to promote it, and, uh, and Justin Moore just happened to see me playing on TV, and uh, he, he called his producer, and his producer um, reached out to me about coming to Nashville to co-write and asking what I wanted to do with music, I don't know. <laughs> what should I do? And and that guy's name's Jeremy Stover. He's been a uh, kind of been my mentor since then. He's, he's my guy. Uh, and um, so we just yeah, it, 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 Justin Moore opened the door for me to get to start going yeah. to Nashville and doing the thing. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And I, I saw recently you guys so like years later have now released this live little video of somebody else will together. Yeah. Saw that on your Instagram. Yeah. I watched it this morning actually and it gave me chills and it was so cool seeing you guys being able to do that together. Have you guys been planning that out for a while or did that kind of just come spur of the moment? No, it was it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, Justin just happened to be in town and we just called him I was like, hey, you want to do a video for, you know, for Sounds Like Nashville? He's like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's a super, you know, easy guy to get along with and work with and he just jumped right in. We, we just did a quick version in the studio. It was cool. Nice. And another thing, another big thing that's happened since I last talked to you, Grand Ole Opry. You, you had uh, your Opry debut. Yeah. What was what was like? What was that like? Because I know that's like a big milestone in people's careers. So. Yeah. Um, that, that's almost kind of like country music opening its arms to you and bringing you in and say, "You're doing a good job. We, we're glad you're here." You know, yeah. um, which is amazing. Um, but the Grand Ole Opry itself, it's it's a it's kind of a big deal in my family. Like my grandpa was. Uh, he was such a big bluegrass fan, and uh, and you know a lot of my musical beginnings just come from from his musical taste, and so um, so it was it was really it was really special um, getting to do that. All my family was there. It was a really emotional night. Um, my grandpa actually passed away about a month before, uh, so it was it was it was somber, but it, and emotional, but um, but it was still like such a high. It was it was amazing. 
he wasn't there, but he was there, you know? Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, another big thing that we were, we were talking about earlier, you're, you're about to have another baby girl. Oh, man. Yes, it's about, <laughs> it's about, to, get, about to get bonkers in my house. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, so she's, I, I, told, I told my wife on the phone earlier, I, I, uh, I told her, hey, don't sneeze too hard before <laughs> before I get home. Like she could have a, she could literally have a baby any second. That's crazy. Yeah. Well, congrats to you. Thank you. Yeah, lots of little things coming your way. Yeah. Look out for Adam Hambrick. Big Frog 104. Uh, we're backstage at Jamesville Balloon Festival, and he just got off stage. Thanks for hanging out with me, Adam. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.